As useful as this sort of matrix notation is to represent a permutation, it turns out that there's a better way. Now, this way has its problems as well, in that representations for a permutation aren't unique. We'll get to that in a minute. But what we want to do is take a look at cycles. Let's say we have in our sort of matrix notation, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's say 1 goes to 4, 2 goes to 5, 3 goes to 6, 4 goes to 1, 5 goes to 3, and 6 goes to 2. Let's notice something. 1 is going to 4, and 4 is going to 1. Those two things just kind of bounce back and forth. We're never getting out of some permutation of just 1 and 4. Similarly, we've got another cycle. It's a longer cycle, but if I start at 2, 2 goes to 5, 5 goes to 3, 3 goes to 6, and 6 goes back to 2. Again, you're always just going to be cycling around these four numbers. So, we can go ahead and represent this, this permutation by telling what these cycles are. And the way we do that is very simple. We're just going to kind of use parentheses, and inside that parentheses, we're going to say what these cycles are. So, 1 and 4, we'll write like that. 1 goes to 4, 4 goes to 1. Because these cycles kind of wrap around, I can say this one, 2 goes to 5, goes to 3, goes to 6. 6 wraps back around to 2, so I close off that cycle. Now, every permutation can be written this way, and it will be always be the same set of cycles for a given permutation. However, the order doesn't have to be that way. I could just as easily have said this is 2, 5, 3, 6 times 1, 4, and it would do the same thing. Let's think for a second here. How could I multiply things in this cycle notation? So let's say I had something like 1, 4, times 4, 1, 3, times 2, 3, 5. For the most part, I'm going to do this the same way as what I did with the whole permutation matrix notation. I'm always going to start with what happens to 1. 1 isn't affected by this thing. It's not part of this cycle. So I can just skip over to the next one. 1 goes to 3, and then 3 isn't affected by this cycle. So that must mean that altogether, 1 has to go to 3. Then I'm going to pick it up from there. 3 goes to 5. 5 isn't affected by that cycle. 5 isn't affected by that cycle. So 3 goes to 5. 5 goes to 2. 2 isn't affected by that cycle or that cycle. So we've got 2. 2 goes to 3. 3 goes to 4. And 4 goes to 1. So I finally can close off that cycle. Altogether, by multiplying these together, I'm getting a cycle 1, 3, 5, 2. But that's not the full thing because there are other elements involved. We also have 4. Now, so I'm going to start a new cycle here. 4. 4 isn't affected by this cycle. 4 goes to 1 here. 1 goes to 4. So it's by itself. If all you have is a single thing, that's just saying 4 maps to 4. It's kind of like the identity element there. 
it's not changing anything. There's nothing wrong with putting it in there, but typically you wouldn't. Because it's just the identity element, you wouldn't normally write it. And so this thing is just the cycle 1352. 4 is not being mapped to anything else. 4 is not part of that thing. Okay. Now, it's also worth noting, in this case, we just got a single cycle by multiplying those things out. But, in general, like up here, we are going to get a product of distinct cycles. We'll get cycles that don't have anything in common when we multiply these together. One important thing about this cycle notation, any cycle can be written as a product of two cycles. Let's take a look at a simple little example. In fact, why don't we just build off of this one. Let's say I had the 1, 3, 5, 2. Now, I should point out that this is only one way to do this. This way of writing it as a product of two cycles is not unique. However, this is a very standard way of doing it. I'm going to start actually on the right hand side by saying we have 1, 3. The next cycle over is going to be 1, 5. Then I'm going to have 1, 2, and I'm done. So whereas this thing is 3, 5, 2, this one, the 3 is furthest on the right, then the 5, then the 2. Now let's think about how this works. 1 goes to 3, then 3 isn't affected by any of those cycles, so 1 goes to 3. 3 goes to 1, but then 1 goes to 5, and then 5 isn't affected, so 3 ends up going to 5. 5 isn't affected by this, 5 goes to 1, 1 goes to 2, so 5 goes to 2. 2 isn't affected by this, isn't affected by this, 2 goes to 1, and that closes our cycle. 